In order to overcome that, mirror telescopes are preferable. Now, uh, see what is the mirror telescope. Now you are aware that in case of telescope, the lenses are used, that is convex lens. In order to get mirror telescope, we have to use mirror, that is concave mirror, because mirrors are functioning exactly in opposite manner. So here, this is a pipe, suppose, this is intake of light here. So mirror, in case of lens, we are fitting out lens at tip, but we have to fix mirror here, not at tip, but mirror is fitted here on this part. So on this portion we are fitting out mirror, this is concave mirror which is at this position. Now light will enter here and it will form image, suppose this is focus. So at focus, we are using another mirror, so it may be possible we are with thin wire or thin uh, support, we can tie it up. This is plane mirror, flat mirror we are using here. The radiations are now taken out here and here IP system, which is a lens here, which is double convex lens. So we have to observe through here. Don't consider how we can observe through here. This is closed then. We have to observe through here. This is eyepiece. This mirror is reflecting radiation coming out from this to lens. And we can observe here from eyepiece. Whereas here, a viewfinder is there. If you observe through this, you can observe this type of viewfinder. The object which you have to observe clearly, that you have to observe through viewfinder, take it at center and then look through this mirror telescope. Now, mirror telescopes are more popular because they are giving sharp images. The resolution power is more in case of mirror telescope and they are avoiding scattering effect because we are using mirror instead of whatever the lens and so scattering or that dispersion effect is almost nullified and we are getting very nice images through mirrors usually we are saying 4 inches telescope 5 inches telescope in case of mirror that is obviously the diameter of mirror that is playing important role so diameter of mirror is important factor in this case and obviously uh, after initial development in this field later on the spectra that means infrared radio telescopes etc they were discovered uh, after discovery of this radiation and now we have different telescopes say for example radio telescope is there radio telescope is not requiring uh, requiring these things that uh, lenses etc instead of that radio waves uh, are detected there so dish antenna like structure is there for radio telescopes in case of infrared telescope also similar things are required in case of x-ray or ultraviolet uh, region working telescope they are not placed on surface of earth they are usually uh, not usually they are there in the space because x-rays are not having life in atmosphere hardly 1.5 feet 2 feet distance is traveled by x-rays in atmosphere and so the chandra x-ray observatory it is not having any connection with Chandra, that is Moon. It is uh, named after Indian scientist by NASA, the Chandra Shaker. And so, uh, you are aware of Chandra limit also. So, on behalf of that, that telescope is there named at Chandra X-ray Observatory. These telescopes are placed in space. 
even hubble telescope which is working on visible light and ultraviolet light that is also there in space now uh, science is developed uh, multiple images also taken out say for example we have to take image of particular cluster uh, in month of january and then take it again in month of december or at different months that means earth is rotating or revolving around sun so from different locations we can take image of same star and then by superimposing that we can check out any new data the enlarged images of stars are produced by using this type of techniques